I was just talking about the uh, Oakland A's earlier, and uh, they've got all sorts of options. Again, they've got good, young, hard-throwing pitching. And again, also a nimble mindset led by their manager, Bob Melvin, who knows how to utilize his resources. He was asked about a possibility of a six-man rotation as a way to attack this coming season a few days ago. For me, it's a con if we have to. Um, I'd prefer to go with a five. That means we have more guys available in the bullpen because, you know, your starters aren't going to go that long. If if you have a starter that you're pitching three or four innings and you have to, to bring in somebody else uh, is kind of a piggyback, he's not available the next day. It just it makes it a little more difficult. There's not going to be a ton of off days once the season starts either. So a, a five-man rotation makes more sense to me. And, you, you know, we have some young starters that need innings this year. You know, if you limit their innings because you are you have a six-man rotation, then going into next year, it's a problem, too. Uh, but that's that's down the road. Back now with John Heyman, Dan Plesak, Rustin Dodd of The Athletic. Rustin, how should a team attack this season, given all the parameters? So, all things being equal, the, the more good pitchers you have, that is good. No, I, I think... You look at the depth of the A's, a team like that, I think they're well suited for this for this season. I, I wonder, though, you know, you look at the value of like an ace, right? Like a Jacob deGrom. He said, he told reporters yesterday, he thinks he could maybe make 12 or 13 starts this year, which is about the same proportionally that you would find in a 162-game season. But, you know, you look at the value of a win in a 60-game season is better than the value of a win in a 162 game season so I think those top line guys who are going to give you a better chance to win on a certain day are actually more valuable in a 60 game season mm -hmm. I think I think the math breaks out like that I haven't haven't done the math myself but I think it is like that so if, if you look at these teams with um, if for instance the A's we, why you wouldn't want to go with a six man rotation you want to make sure your your best pitcher your best one or two pitchers are starting every fifth day um, so I think there's a lot of different ways you can attack this thing but I I just think it comes down to the teams that have the guys that are going to perform or you're going to win. And I know that sounds simple, but I, I think that's whether it's 60 games or 162 games, you, if the team, the best teams are going to have the best chance to win. But there's going to be a plan of attack, right? And Dan, what I'm saying is we, we talked about this. You have most bullpens even. You have an A squad and a B squad. If on the games that you are leading or tied and you say, all right, we're, dictate, we're going A squad here, I think there's a chance for teams like the Rays or the A's go full bullpen attack and have a real edge. There is, Brian. And I look at one team that jumps out at me, too, is the Yankees. The Yankees have a guy for just about every inning for every situation. Mm -hmm. You have right, left, right. You have Britain. You have right, right, right. You've got Adovino. So they have a lot of options. And I think in the 60-game format, you look at this Yankee. I mean, to me, you saw it, Tanaka was hit with a line drive. So, But hopefully he's going to be okay. Garrett Cole, to me, sets the top of that rotation. The two keys to me are James Paxton and Hap. If Hap comes back in pitches like we know they're ca he's capable of, and to me, Paxton. The key for Paxton is he always seems to find sometime during the year he heads the head to the disabled list. In a 12-start season, 60-game schedule, they can ill afford to have him miss more than one or two starts. So I think it's going to be imperative for the guys when this does restart again, the teams like the Yankees that are leaning on their one, two, three, four, five, if they can get guys like Paxton and Hap to make all their starts Huge leg up for the Yankees. Right, just get that couple of innings. Even if you saw there, after your first two, three guys, then it's your fourth day and your fifth day. It's like, get me four or five innings, and then you go, as you said, A squad with your A squad Yankee bullpen, which you know this is the day that we win this game. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I think the bullpenning, this is your year, uh, BK. Uh, we're going to have bullpenning all over, and I think the A's and the Rays are well-suited for this year with all those good young arms. I mean, we say the health is the key every year, and this year it really is. Uh, but it, we're assuming that there will be more DL chances for people, unfortunately. And it, the better depth that you have, the better chance you will have. Now, here's what, like, the Rays are throwing out. Right. Now, yeah. of course, right. Blake Snell, Charlie Morton, sure. Even Glass know if he's extended out. And, and, look, the Rays know this. They know, hey, if we, got, if we have an ace and he's going seven innings, fine. But the yeah. rest of the time, yeah. like, where the Rays are making fast moves, I don't think this is a season, John, where a guy's like, well, our starter is struggling today. Well, let's just see how he rides it out. You can't do that in 60 games, right? No, you have other teams, teams that with the aggressive manager will have an advantage. Every game is vital. Everybody in that bullpen is very talented. So I, I think the Rays are very well suited. The Rays and the A's are like – 
bookends on either coast, mm -hmm. you know, beyond the fact that they always do better than I expect them to do. They both have the stadium issues. They both have all those good young arms. Yeah. They develop yeah. the pitching. And uh, maybe uh, this may be the year for one of them to uh, actually win it. Because it's basically, when you're starting, it's August, right? Even you got two months, so you have to look at it like, if it's August, manage like your hair's on fire, as they say, right? It's like, don't, if you let your starter give up a five spot, you've lost. It's almost like playoff baseball, Dan, right? You well, get Brian, your bullpen in there. In 60 games, I think one of two things are going to happen. It's either going to be pitching, 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 or hitting, hitting, and hitting. And that's why, to me, a team like the Angels could be really a dangerous team in a 60-game format. They're going to have Otani. They're going to use him every five or six days, right? They bring in Rendon. They have Trout. They have Pujols. One of the things that we've knocked on the Angels the last four or five years, they don't have enough depth in that starting pitching. But in 60 games, if one or two of those pitchers – that can get hot and stay healthy, the Angels could be right in this because they're going to score some runs. Do they even have the bullpen flexibility, though, they, they, to do that? Like, I don't that's, think they can play that game. I do, but I know this. They're going to hit, Brian. And if it's – we don't – I wish we had a crystal ball to know, like, if we could know going into September 1st what the trend was. Was it pitching was dominant and bullpens were dominant or – the hitters were ahead of the pitchers, and there were a lot of runs scored in the month of August. I have another team that has better relief pitching than you think and has, as I said, a nimble mindset, the Twins. Yes. Right? Look, and they're like an obvious team. They won 100 games last year. But the Twins are deep, and from the top on down, they're like, what can we do to, as we say, reimagine this? What can we do to attack this? I think they're the type of club that could really exploit this too. Right. There's some unknowns with coming out this layoff. How healthy are guys going to be? How much rest do you really need? But I do wonder, and Dan could probably answer this better, but how much rest, if you just know you're going 60 games and you're a relief pitcher, how much can you say, do I need two days off here? Now I just need a day off. Maybe now I can Is go back different? to back to I, back. I think in an ideal world for a reliever, you could very easily see every other day your main guys. Keep them at about an inning or an inning and a third. I really think 60 games, your top flight relievers, I think it's imperative to get them in between 30 and 40 games. If you can mm -hmm. keep them, you know, fresh. Be careful going three, four days in a row if you don't have to. But you could use your main guys every other day. What a weapon. That's a good question. I don't know if it's leading to the answer that will make a difference. Because even no matter what, if to go, basically we've used this guy back-to-back -back days. Now we have a one-run lead. We'd like to go to the well again, right? This is the classic case. We have our relief ace. Can we go a third straight day? I don't know if a shorter season makes him any less fatigued, right? Or do you think that? Well, I, it, I think it's a question. I mean, I think it depends on the pitcher. I think it's interesting that as players, though, you know, are – yeah, you're going to be less effective on that third day that you pitch. But if you think about it in terms of if you were just going 60 games, right, is there a, is there a, is that is that more, you know, extreme in the second half of a season when you, you know, like right, are, are, right. are guys going to be able to pitch more than they normally would in a long season because they know they're only going 60 games? Right. Um, well, it's kind of an acute fatigue and then the long-term fatigue, the, the, the two separate issues. Dan, if right? I were the bullpen right now, that's what I – did for a living, Brian. This 60-game schedule, I, if I was healthy going into the season, I would assume, I would tell my manager, you can use me every day. Because mm. if you're just looking at a 60 game, this is basically a college baseball season, 60 games. Mm. The part that's tough in the bullpen, when you start getting into August and September, and you're at that 60, 65 game mark going into September, instead of, there's a big difference, Brian, pitching in 40 games as opposed to pitching in 70 games. I mm. think these guys, the guys that are veteran relievers that know how to take care of their arms, they know how to warm up, how to conserve their bullets, they'll be available to pitch four to five days a week.